All right, let's uh, see. I just gotta wait for things to kick in. Uh, things getting started. Okay, I need my. Let me go ahead and share this real quick. Copy the link. I'm gonna share it on Twitter. Uh, early. Oh, come on, can I spell? Early lunchtime spring. So I am currently on my Kinesis Advantage board, my OG. So it's a little different than the um, keyboard I've been using, which is the Corn split keyboard. So I've been getting jacked up here. That's because I got this keyboard on this machine. The Corn is on my work machine which is behind me back there and i just got tired of moving it back and forth i have another corn keyboard i'm actually going to build i've got all the parts for it this little box right here i just haven't gotten around to doing it yet so ah uh, you know i need time time to do stuff but let's get this um early lunchtime stream um uh let's see let's go with the hyperbole Title like the stream title pop ups are dead, right? Pop ups are dead, kinda not really, kinda not really. Let's look at latest, uh, my hashtags, right? ArcGIS maps, it's okay for. JS updates coming. More hashtags, of course. GeoDev. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, that, that should be good. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and. All right. All right. So the the Twitter Twitterness is done out of the way. All right. So let's look at what's going on. What's going on, right? So pop-ups are dead in the uh, next version of the ArcGIS Maps SK for JavaScript. Not really, just kind of a clickbaity title, but but there's some improvements coming along, right? So the next version, uh, 4.27, you can read the change log on the on GitHub on Esri Feedback JS API Next repo. There's a change log for what's coming. This is currently available in the next version of the Maps SDK. So if you do um, npm install arcgis core next you'll get the latest and greatest updates right so here we go there's some there's some stuff coming up right uh deprecations and changes basically uh the gist of it is the fact that the pop-up code is going to be uh, lazy loaded after the view uh, is fired so even if you don't do anything you're gonna get some benefit right you should get a little bit faster load uh, of your page um by doing nothing Right, because we're gonna we're removing that pop-up code to its own. Uh, it'll be lazy imported in its own module, right? So it'll be its own chunk that gets imported. So you get the map view, and then the pop-up gets deferred loaded. You can even disable the pop-up to save even more, right? So, um, okay, let's do this. Let's let's. All right, so let's do this, right? So here's just my 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 map, regular map. I've got a. Uh, web map and this web map has a pop-up already defined on it right so let's come over here let's do a uh, a build so we're gonna run a build in it real quick i probably could use that last build i did Ugh, these builds take longer than i like um this is v v's still pretty good with the builds but I'll tell you what i've been messing with um rs pack i guess it's called Re I, I thought it was gonna be called repack it's rs pack uh that the builds are s silly fast so if you want to mess with that too that's good so okay so check this out right so the index file is still like one and a half megabytes for basic map but this is not um you know compressed right gzip size says right here is uh, uh 410k that's like the entry point right and the pop-up code right here is by 184k uh un gzip but the GSIP size could be about 46, almost 50K uh, difference, right? So if I were to run this, all right, so we're going to run the dist build here. Let's go ahead and reload the page here. So I've got my um, 
right? So I didn't, I didn't turn off the pop-up. I left everything as is. I click on the map and I get my pop-up, right? So if I come, okay, so let's do this. Let me hold on. Let me do it again. Cause I, I didn't get, I didn't get the effect I wanted, right? All right, let's do it one more time, right? So, okay. So I'm at the very bottom here and here's the pop-up code that gets loaded, right? So that is about, like I said, uh, GZIP side, we said is about 47 K and, you know, I'm going to go ahead and load it. And then when I load it, I get all this other stuff that gets lazy loaded too. So the pop-up itself, is going to lazy load pieces that it needs after the fact, right? So attachment info, load some calcite stuff, some, um, I 10 n bits and whatnot, right? So all this cool stuff it needs to do with this idea. So you can see there's a lot of code in the pop-up, right? So if we do this, right? So let's come over here. Stop that. And let's say, for example, uh, we want to, so what did it tell me to do? What was the thing here? Uh, pop up enabled false, right? So, okay, right away. Look at that. And it's already got my um, IntelliSense here. So it controls whether the pop up opens when user clicks on the view, right? Okay, perfect. So now if I come over here, I do a build again. You gotta wait. And this is where, you know, you just sit and wait for your builds to happen. Um, but I mean, there's, there's some other changes too you should probably be aware of um, that are gonna be coming in 4.27. Uh, this, just making it false by having an option to turn the pop-up off for the map is a pretty big deal. Because there's uh, quite a few people that don't use the pop-up, right? They just are relying on visualizations. Um, so this could save you quite a bit in your uh, application load time and stuff, right? So, okay, let's go ahead and load that now. And we come over here. So before, for everything, we were loading 1.3 megabytes of JavaScript, right? All together, um, I clicked on the pop-up and everything, all the JavaScript I need to show this was 1.3 megabytes. So let's go ahead and refresh it. Uh, so now I'm down to 942, 954K here but now i've got no pop-up right but that's it that's so that's like what was it almost um like half a megabyte or a 0.4 megabytes uh savings to uh just get disable the pop-up here right which is cool now that's not to say that you never need a pop-up for your applications but if you don't right if you have an application that doesn't really require a pop-up you can turn it off you can also just use like the feature widget and maybe show pop-up info in the sidebar. So the feature widget is still gonna load some pieces um, that's gonna need to do rent to you know, do rendering, translations, uh, parse fields, stuff like that. But again, that's up to you at that point to really fine tune your app. So it's just another option for you if you're interested in kind of fine tuning the load time of your application, right? Uh, let me try something here actually, let me, uh, Let's go, let's do a slow 3G here, right? So, okay, so we're just gonna do all, and let's see, so load time, um, see DOM content, 527 milliseconds, right? So, and we'll wait, and we'll wait, and we'll wait. So we got all this stuff going in here. Now, again, this is just a straight Vite kind of um, load. You know, this is a bad example. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is a bad use case. Let's do this. Hold on here. Hold on. Let's do it in incognito mode. Incognito mode would be much better. Uh, let's turn on my developer tools because I've got all of my uh, stupid uh, extensions going to. So we're better off doing incognito mode. I'm still slow 3G. We're loading. We're loading. We're loading. We're loading. But this is what your users are going to do, right? I mean, you're going to have users out there they're going to be on these slow 3g networks come on man go 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 ah uh, come on if i just go to js and look at all the js getting loaded right so all right all right it's gone things are happening all right so slow 3g takes a long time people I don't know if I can hang. I don't know if I can do this. 
it's gone. It's gone. I've been I'm throttling my I'm not gonna repeat this uh again. Uh let's just say it's still gonna be faster because I can't know. Let's go with fast 3G. What do you say? Huh? Give me some slack. Alright, so let's let's go with fast 3G. Say you're on a 3G network. Um things still take a while to load. I think the data might take a little bit longer to load than the actual, uh, like the JavaScript and the CSS and stuff, right? Okay, so DOM content loaded was what four seconds. So resources loading, uh, fast three G took me like thirty four seconds, right? And again, uh, no pop up stuff here. All right, so now I don't know why I'm why am I doing this to myself. All right, we're going to comment that out. Okay. All right, all right, hold on. Let's just do a build again without turning the pop-up off. And I don't have, this a good comparison actually would be against um, the uh, 426 build where the um, it's gonna where the pop-up code is not lazy loaded right so 427 even if i turn it on it's still lazy loaded so you still get a faster start time of the page if you disable the pop-up right you're just gonna it just defers that loading of that code in 427. 426 it didn't do that right so that's where the major bits of the difference are going to come in um, it just in 427, you have the option to turn it off completely. There are some other changes that I, I probably should be pointing out here too, right? Um, the API for opening the pop-up, right? So, gosh, I didn't even want to do this. That's time for this. You know, this is my, I should be getting something to eat. It's Taco Tuesday, people. Uh, okay, okay. All right, right, right. Uh, let's do view.on. Oh. I told you I'm used to that other uh, keyboard. Let's do a click. I can't type at all. What did I just do? What happened here? Okay. You know, the Kinesis Advantage is great, but when you've been working on like a porn keyboard with multiple layers and stuff like that, it's like huge difference. So, okay. So what are we doing here? Uh, let's just get an event, right? So, okay. Okay. Uh, declared, but never used. I don't care. So, all right. So I don't know what, what's the API look like this for open, uh, pop-up. Uh, what are my options here? Open the pop-up given location with content derived. Okay. So what do I pass here? Um, my options oh god see so the the all right you know what no i know what's gonna happen let's do this let's do it's probably gonna be the same as open all right what is the pop up dot open all right all right so let's do this let's go to uh, api reference and it's pop up here no it's not this means i gotta search for it uh no that's not it i can never find stuff i'm looking for okay pop-ups and widgets sorry all right all right so let's come down to methods uh it's probably gonna be the same as this isn't there oh here we go open okay so options right so i need to pass a um title Hello. Oh, no wrong. I'm telling you, I need to get used to switching keyboards. All right, so the title, I don't care about content. Location is going to be e dot uh, map point. All right, so we want the map point. And that's it. That's all I care about. All right, so now if we do... Uh, I'm not going to do a build this time. I'm just going to do a um, 
dev build so it'll be faster. Alright, so if I come over here now, it was so 5173, which it usually is. Alright, so we don't we this we're not necessarily oh let me hold on wait wait. I still no it's disable throttle no throttling. Alright, there we go. Okay, so now on click, I can still open my pop-up, right? Pop up that open. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, wait, hold on. I forgot to do this. Why anybody tell me I forgot to do that? All right, here we go. So pop-up's been disabled. I can still click open pop-up and I'll still do it. And if I look at the uh, code here, uh, the pop-up code will get loaded when I when I need it because I, I decided I'm going to call that open pop-up. Uh, thing right so boom there you go uh what else should there you guys uh look at so that's some api changes in the pop-up how you open and close it same for the close pop-up right um instead of uh well i mean yeah so this is gonna break this is oh this one's probably uh, important you should know because the pop-up is not created by default right you want to use reactive utils to watch for the pop-up um, properties to change, right? Pop-up as view model. Okay, so view the pop-up. Of course, do the little question mark because it might not exist, All right? So that's a big one. Um, can you guys see this? A little bigger. Um, so use reactive utils to really watch it. So this is going to break, right? Same for the actions, right? So you want to watch for when the view model has been applied to a pop-up. Then go and apply, uh, push some actions into it. Uh, the same goes, okay, so you could still do, um, if you did this, right, if you had the pop-up object and you pass some properties to it, then you'll get a pop-up created, right? But don't get weird. Don't like pop-up enabled false and then try and add this pop-up object. It won't work. I don't want to test it because I'll look foolish, but don't do that because, yeah, you're just you're doing weird. Don't do that, please. Um... Open and close, we talked about that. Uh, view model, uh, so the old way, uh, the new way. So you want to use some nice little uh, checkers here to make sure that the pop-up exists if you're checking properties on it. Uh, it's already calling out some other pieces here for actions. You also have the option, not just passing an object for you know, pop-up stuff, like you know you might be doing to do auto-casting bits, which you probably should avoid. Auto-casting just causes problems, man. Uh, just create a new pop-up. Right, have a pop up, you create the new pop up, you add the properties to that pop up you want, and then it'll behave the way you expect it to behave, right? So, that is an important one you'll probably want to look at and uh, get used to it. Now, I just want to highlight the pop up changes are coming to 427. Uh, this will be the next release, uh, things that you need to be aware of. But again, look at the change logs, there's other things too, right? Uh, we have some breaking changes here. I mean, the pop-up looks like it's only breaking change here, too. Uh, there's some bug fixes. There's some deprecation notes you might want to look at. I mean, all this will be in the release notes, too. So when the release comes out, you can read the release notes, and this stuff will be a bit more, uh, you know, it'll be all in there. There'll be some more details and stuff. Uh, the change log is kind of where things can go to, like, for the next version to uh, just kind of track what is happening because you can install this and work with it now right so if i were to um uh package all right so i'm on the next build from april 14th right that was the last one i installed so uh you could install it today and play with it so try this out check out the change log um get ready for when the release comes out that we have to make any changes some stuff here about the calcite icons expand widget you know if, if this if you're worried about that read the change log pop up the main one but try it out get ready that way you know what's going to happen in 427 and you're ready to go once release comes up so if you got any questions drop them down below don't forget to comment like and subscribe it helps out also don't forget to check out the bounding box podcast right podcast is out now 